we're back. Um, I got a pretty cool mod. Uh, it's been something that I've been looking at for a while now. Uh, just trying to find the best price on this thing, but it is the Rentec uh, EVM module, um, exhaust valve control module, uh, just an easy plug and play um, thing. Uh, not really much of a mod, but it's a kind of a tweak into the exhaust system of the car. Um, but basically what this does is it keeps the valves open uh, 100% uh, at your own discretion at a click of a button instead of uh, relying on a system that really is capped off at a certain RPM, 4,000 RPM, and a certain speed, I think around like 65. Uh, miles per hour is when the valve is fully open so until then uh, you don't really get a full sound of the exhaust um, but what this thing does is it basically opens it up uh, to your own discretion and how you want to use it whether that's in comfort sport and whatnot and it really kind of opens up the exhaust without having to do any major cutting modifications which is what i want to avoid because you know i still want to preserve this car as best as i can um, just to, you know, it's one of the last ones and as I've stated in many of my videos, you know, everything's going EV now and with the look of it, the new C63, um, you know, I know it's faster than this and, you know, it will be a lot quicker, but I mean, the sound isn't there and I'm not really keen on the design just yet. It hasn't really, um, hit me yet, but I'm not a fan of a lot of those things, but to, to cut it short though, um, but basically today I'm gonna show you guys how to install this quick little uh, plug and play module that basically opens up your exhaust a little bit more uh, without having to do any major modifications and I think it'll be pretty cool and I don't really see a lot of these videos online or on YouTube so I think this will be cool to really get a good detailed video on how this works and how the install is and, and everything so let's go ahead and get this thing. Uh, I'm gonna rearrange this thing so I can get a little bit more uh, space and then uh, we will get cracking on this. So. So I got the car turned around. What I'm gonna do is place my camera on the ground and then I'll turn the car on and go through the various modes in stock without the module turned on or plugged in. And then we'll compare that in the end to after when I plug in the module. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so what I got here is the Rentec exhaust valve module. Let's do a quick little unboxing for you guys. So, slip this out of its cover. And what you get is the box. Um, and this just has a little flap, a little magnetic flap. And this is really all you get. So you got the module here with two plugs that just plug into the existing wiring harnesses. And then you got a little bag to store your keys or your uh, remotes and you get a little lanyard and you basically get two two remotes so if I can get that to focus well let's see here 
There we go. So yeah, that's focusing. All right, so so this is a key. You get two of them. You get right there, right there. And then basically, you have two buttons. This is turning the valves on, meaning you'll fully control it to 100%. And then this is just to set it back into the stock mode. So you can flip it on and off um, here. And then if you want to reset it to the stock mode, you just click there and then you're good to go. And then the however, you know, whatever mode you're in and you select, it'll just match it to whatever the system is and it won't open the valves. So that's cool because you can, you know, tune it down when you want and you can turn it up when you want to as well. So pretty cool. So this is the remote. And then you also get a little manual that isn't very helpful. No real uh, install directions. All right guys, so what you're gonna do, it's pretty simple. It's gonna be in your trunk here, so you pop your trunk. Where it's at is back here in this corner. Uh, not much light, but basically you'll lift your mat and then down here in this back corner, you'll be able to see some cables once you rip this and basically right there you got some wiring harnesses that connect into the uh, exhaust uh, flaps you know so you're basically going to just uncover these and then just plug and play so give me a second while I get this uncovered and then I'll show you guys what the plugs look like all right guys so I got the uh, foam covering protective stuff uh, uncovered over it just so you guys can see better but basically you got three wires down here and I'm pretty sure I just uncovered the blue one just so you guys can see the difference but I'm pretty sure you don't plug it into the blue one because the two white ones look like they fit into the module and you know, we'll find out right here there's just not good videos on YouTube but basically what this does is just bypass just this plug so you'll plug one end to the receiving end and one end to the output end this one uh, I just plugged it back in, but we'll see if that needs to be unplugged or not. But basically, the two bigger plugs, you just leave alone. So one blue one you leave alone, and one of the white ones you leave alone. And it's really just this plug right here uh, that bypasses under here. So instead of these two being connected, it's now being ran through there, and then trapped in there. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens, and then we'll confirm if that's the route. But basically, yeah, guys, so that's what it is. So uh, let me go ahead and turn the car on, and let's push the buttons, and let's see if it works. So... Um, yeah, I can't even explain that. So I installed it and it was already set to open. So as soon as I turned on the car, I was like, okay, this is a lot different. I could notice it right off the bat. So, you know, I came around and as you could probably hear me, I was clicking open and close. So you guys could hear the difference. So when I came back around, um, you know, I clicked the clicker to close the valves, like if it was stock. Um, and you could really hear the difference. So that is shocking. Like just that little bit just opened it up that much more. So, uh, yeah, I cannot wait to rip this on the road and really hear what it's going to sound like once it's like, you know, out there rolling. Um, but yeah, just right there, guys, you guys are able to see, uh, hopefully you guys can hear it through the, through the camera microphone, but man, in person, that definitely makes a big difference without having to do any modding and cut of cutting of the exhaust. So. I am pretty happy with that. Um, so I bought this one off of eBay. I was able to find it. It might have been used. It might have not been. Who knows? But basically, I was able to get it for $535, which in my sense, I think that's a steal, um, especially with looking at, you know, Rentech.com and all their other websites selling it for, you know, $660 and above and $700 and above. So, you know, by the time you apply taxes and shipping, you're almost looking at like $800 just for this module. Um, but I was able to snag it for $500, um, and I think that's a deal to me. So, um, you know, I did buy uh, brand new sets of tires. So the stock ones are, are getting kind of there. Uh, well, at least the rears. The rears are pouring down. The front ones are still pretty good. 
but I did hit a little bit of a pothole so there is a little bit of a bubble on the side so um, I'll be burning these tires out and I'll be posting videos on that too uh, and the install of the wider tires and just to give you guys an idea I went with 255 in the front not trying to put any spacers now with 285 uh, in the back so again don't want to put spacers on this um, don't have a tune on this so don't really need to go any wider um, but basically that will just kind of help fill out the the arches a little bit and make the car have a little bit more of a curb appeal from the wheel standpoint. <laughs> 